Hi folks, how are we doing today? I'm doing very well. It is a Saturday, I'm feeling free, I'm feeling happy. I got my primal shirt on. Um, and we are here. We are here in the Battle Frontier once again. And if you recall last episode, or if you were there, we were defeated at the Battle Palace by the Palace Maven Spencer. He was a very sore winner and was uh, and, and benefited from some truly, truly, truly insane luck. We were on the, the, the receiving end, the bad end of that luck. And today we're going to begin our redemption tour at the Battle Palace. Hopefully we can find that redemption. I'm happy to begin our quest. Um, something else I also realized that we can do today is that we can... Um, let's see. We have a shot if we want to try to get our symbol at the battle tower. It could be very tough, um, but we only have two more times through the tower. So maybe I'll go through one, one round of the palace here, and then um, we can go to, and see what happens in the tower. Um, because we're here, we're here on our, our revenge tour in the Battle Palace. I, our loss to Spencer left a very, very bad taste in my mouth. Um, <laughs> hated it very much. Um, and yes, here I must remember that we are... Oh, Shadow Ball, you're usually better about that, Stevie. Um, Alright, there we go. I must remember that here we do not select our move. And once we do go back to the Battle Tower, I need to remember that we do select our move. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be seeing a lot of first form Pokemon here in the palace this first time through. It'd be pretty simple. Because if if I recall, our first time, even our second time through the Battle Palace, I was pretty I was pretty underwhelmed. We didn't have too many uh, scares until that third time through. There was that one instance where. We fought that Eevee, and we just couldn't move. And it was insane how poorly it was going, and then it, like, just randomly defeated two of our Pokémon just because we couldn't move at all. But we got a pretty strong start. Lovely. A Meteor Mash would be great. Brick Break should also do the trick, I would imagine. Lovely. And then Corfish. Uh, this was a big anime Pokemon, as I understand it. I did not really watch this, those seasons of the anime. I've kind of explained early, uh, I've kind of explained to people that I have not been a huge watcher of the anime. I did when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, I stopped watching early Johto, really. Um, I'm much more of a, of a champion of the games themselves and not necessarily the anime. But I do still, I do, you know, I do still enjoy it. I'm very nostalgic for it. Um, and I do hold several of the movies in very high regard. At least those first three I really love. Um, here we're hoping to see a Shadow Ball. Maybe. Uh, right, and Psywave does random damage. There we go. Maybe I should keep my music off. It's always nice to kind of have that speed up on because we're always dealing with that. Oh, it's Harry. See ya, Harry. We're always dealing with those Shell Bell and Leftovers animations. Um, lovely. All right, fourth opponent's next. Let's do it. Um, you may have noticed, um, the last time that we went through the Battle Palace, we were really always starting with Starmie. 
Um, this time we're going to be starting with Stevie the Metagross because um, we kind of discovered that Stevie walls Spencer's Crobat pretty well. Um, like, we can get confused. It can, you know, hit us with Fly, but it cannot hit, it, hit us with Toxic. It can't really hit us with any super effective damage or any, like, highly damaging move. Um, so we're going to open with Stevie, and we still have that super effective Psychic on it. Um, because not... Starmie not really being able to do much against the Lapras, really only having one turn... Uh, because we had such horrible luck against the Crobat. Um, that really doomed us in the end, so... Um, it's kind of just going to be Metagross on Crobat, Salamence on Slacking, and hopefully into Lapras. And then Starmie for Lapras is kind of our strat that we're going to be going for. And this is taking forever. This is insane. Um... And you really just want to use the moves that aren't very effective here, Stevie. You have Shadow Ball sitting right there. Jeez. Guys, come on. Come on now. This is just the first Pokemon. Let's do it. Alright, I guess we're just gonna <laughs> trudge our way through that Spoink battle. Um... Okay, I was about to say, do not show me Brick Break here, Stevie. Give me that Shadow Ball, I love it. Um, for those of you just joining us, we are beginning our redemption tour of the Battle Palace. Um, we're also maybe going to be going for the Silver Symbol at the Battle Tower after this, so... We probably have a pretty, a pretty packed, pretty packed time this Saturday afternoon. Um... I haven't been able to get in to stream on Saturdays the past couple weekends. Because, um, you know, just being an adult man, I have to do a lot of things on the weekends. And I feel like we've seen a lot of the same Pokemon um, this time through. Because I, I know we've seen Spoink, I know we've seen Dratini. Uh, that should be a one-shot. Great. Ooh, a nice attack raise. Love it. Love it. Ugh. Stevie is in an annoying position right now. That's even worse, the flinch. Supersonic Howl, Stomp, and something. Ugh, this is horrific. There we go. Um. Oh, yes. I actually have been receiving a lot of criticism lately. Oh, that's fine. Hopefully we can hit a nice psychic here. I've actually been receiving a lot of criticism lately because I posted this short of kind of like the final move sets for our squad. Um, and you know, they're not necessarily final. If we really need to, we can pivot a little bit. But I know a lot of people were very surprised slash flabbergasted that I left one special move on Metagross and on Salamence, like because I left Psychic on Metagross and Flamethrower on Salamence, because you know they're both physical attackers. But I just thought I had enough moves to utilize that physical attack, and it might be nice to have that little change of pace if I need it. Um, that might be like suboptimal. Um, I don't know if that just feels good for my personal anxieties to do that. <laughs> but that's what I decided to do. And again, I can always change it. If we really need to. I mean, it's working pretty well so far, I would say. And Stevie just loves getting paralyzed and confused on the first Pokemon, it seems. Um, yeah, we're not going to mess with that. I'm going to go to Harry because if we catch another Stun Spore... Okay, never mind, because <laughs> we got skill swapped. <laughs> it stole my natural cure, so now we're now I got two Pokemon paralyzed. Um, all right, this is deeply annoying. Oh, and now oh now Stevie has natural cure. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Let's do it. 
Stevie, so Stevie should be cured of his paralysis now. He is indeed. Lovely. Um, ugh. Guys, with the being incapable of using your power, I am deeply triggered by the fight against Spencer. There's got to be, like... What's up, Cry? Hello. There has to be, like, an actual way to determine when or how your Pokemon's going to attack based on their nature. Oh, Venonat and Butterfree. Um, and I just haven't looked that up. I'm sure I could, but I just haven't thought about it. Hmm. Okay, luckily that did not do a ton. There you go, Harry. Lovely. Oh my gosh, I really thought that was going to one-shot. So I'm not really worried here at all. This is just being very annoying. How's your day going so far, Cry? No big deal. And we don't get that rock tomb decrease because we have clear body, which is lovely. Always love to see that. Excuse me. Going good, just chilling. Love to hear it. I mean, it is Saturday. Saturday's the time for some good chilling. Maybe a little bit of fun. Um, we are actually going to see my parents later today, which I'm excited about. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, but tomorrow we don't have much, which uh, makes me the most excited. Because I love having just kind of chill free days on the weekend. Um, and not having much to do. Okay, I think I'm gonna opt out of that because I don't. I just don't like swagger. You can really hurt yourself a lot um, in confusion there. And of course, Ar Arrow just loves to dance. He was born to dance. Um, and another reason that I wanted to put, um, I'll swap out because I don't like the ice. Another reason I wanted to put flamethrower on. Um, arrow was because the first time I ever tried the Battle Frontier, um, I had a, a Salamence that knew Flamethrower. I think it knew Flamethrower, Aerial Ace, Dragon Claw, and Earthquake. So his moveset was pretty much the same. I just decided not to use Dragon Claw. Um, and then I had a Gardevoir that knew Psychic and... It knew Psychic and Thunderbolt, for sure. I don't remember what else it knew. Maybe maybe Calm Mind. Um, and then I had a Wall Rain. That was basically just a, just a Ice Beam and Surf machine. Um, but yeah, that was my original Battle Frontier team. So I think I might have been a little nostalgic for... Um, gosh, Harry Jr. has been killing us. Um, I might have been a little nostalgic for that flamethrower on, um, Salamence. And funny enough, we're actually going to swap back into Salamence because it's not going to get hit by that dig. And we're not really going to get hurt by that light screen as much. Um, hey, that is right, Cry. That is right. I feel you completely. Um... Just one of my favorite downtime activities. Just playing some Pokemon. It's a very chill time. Oh, good thing that light screen went down, actually. There's Flamethrower for you. I feel like this time through, the Battle Palace has just been far less cooperative for us. But that's okay. We're, we're, we're on the verge. We're gonna... Yes, that'll one-shot. I think plus one at this point. There we go. All right, so that's one time through. So that's good. Um, let me get that marked down. There we go. So, Cry, we pretty much have two different routes that we can go today. I'll ask you, uh, because you're here. Would you rather see us just go all in for Battle Palace Redemption today? Or do you want to see us try to go for the silver symbol at the battle tower? 
Um, because we're within striking distance of that. We only have two more times through to have a crack at the at the frontier brain at the battle tower. Um, so I'll do either one. Um, because I think both could be both could be very good. Oh, and I'm gonna vibe to this a little bit. I just never let the music get this far. This oh, it's so good. Okay, try the tower. Love to hear it. Love that. And we can take uh, we can take our our time with our battle palace revenge tour. You know. Um, it's, uh, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. All right, so here we are. I will save because I have anxiety. All right, so now I kind of got to think about what I want my team's order to be for this. Yeah, I wasn't entirely sure. Um, I will probably still start Stevie. Um... And then I'll probably have Harry Jr. potentially second. I just think St Stevie is probably going to be my best lead, I would guess, against the Battle Tower Frontier Brain. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. And I got to remember, I pick my moves this time. So as I was saying... Um, we have to go through the Battle Tower five times before we get a crack at the Frontier Brain. And things things could be really tough. Th things will start to get tough this time through, because um, this will be our fourth. Um, and uh, I, I remember specifically the Battle Tower being among the toughest. Um... Shadow Ball, we should be fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, Absol's got great attack. And, you know, as many of you know, Shadow Ball is not yet a special move. That is not until the next generation. So Absol can actually make really good use of a move like that, but also, alternatively, not make very good use of Dark-type moves. Um... I will try to hit through it. I'm feeling greedy. There we go. Nice. We'll stay in. Might have been stupid. All right, we hold on. Let's go. There we go. Good job, Harry. Perfecto. All right, we'll turn that off. Wigglytuff, let's just see. And get our best hit in before we swap out. Ooh, we hold on still. All right, I'm going for a freeze. Let's do it. Let's do it with Starmie. Ah, uh, not quite. No biggie. Arrow can clean up easily with an earthquake. All right. So Lucas goes down. Um, that fight wasn't too scary, but, uh, you never know what we can run into. I feel like every time you go through one of these challenges, um, there's always, like, that one trainer that feels a little bit tougher than the other ones. Um, and you just never, ha oh, ha, guillotine, that's always horrifying. <laughs> and you just never know... Never know when it's going to come. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball's as good as anything. Yeah. Not our best matchup, but this Matang's not really going to be able to hurt us either. That is the big benefit to having Metagross um, on the squad, is ha just having that Steel type can be really good defensively. That is, you know, the reason... Um, uh, we want to use it against Spencer's Crobat. Um, and again, you know, people are giving me a hard time about having that special attack psychic um, on Metagross, but I mean, it comes in handy. 
because excuse me it might be uh, might be a special attack but it still gets that stab bonus you know all right Woo, Salamence, baby all right um I'm gonna swap into Harry because all we have to do is survive one thing and Ice Beam will outspeed and kill it. Okay. Feeling good about that. And see, there's that Salamence. Like, that is tough right there. Salamence, Agron. Oh, shoot. Must be a Quick Claw. But Harry holds on. That's amazing. Oh, baby. Because there is no world where an Agron is faster than a Starmie. And we should pop off with this Surf as well. That is great. Like a Quick Claw or... I don't know what choice item gives them a speed boost. But, yeah, every now and then we run into those Pokemon that have... That outspeed me by surprise. Um, I recall a Seeking did that to us once. I think it was in the Battle Dome. We got this really scary Seeking. Um, let's go to Starmie here. Um... We got this really scary Seeking, that new Mega Horn, so it knocked out Starmie, and it went first for some reason. So it knocked out Starmie, and then it had Horn Drill, and I'm like, are we about to be screwed? Um, but we made it out. I think we got a little bit lucky on that one. Um, Harry's actually great for this trainer. I love Melodic. It's such a great design. It's so, like, beautiful and regal. Um, wonderful Pokemon. I was really happy to be able to use it in our playthrough portion of this. Um, all right. We're still faster. Still faster. Okay, so you're going to start recovering. So really it's just... I mean, my Thunderbolt does just about the same amount. It looks like it does a little more, so we'll get there eventually. Not yet. I think I had a little bit of a high roll that one time. See if I can get another one or a critical hit or a paralysis or something. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, you just found your Feebas tile yesterday. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. Really, the big thing uh, that helped me when I started doing that, um, all right, it's just getting offensive here, was I didn't know that you could still do it with an old rod. So when I was kind of doing a little bit of research before I started the playthrough, I'm really happy that I discovered that you could catch a Feebas with an old rod. Or else I would have been like, fishing just would have taken a lot longer. Um, just because I would have had to do a lot more, a lot more, you know, kind of pulls of the fishing rod um, to catch each Pokemon. Uh, here, okay, I feel good about Brick Break. Also, someone was giving me a hard time about having Brick Break on my Metagross. And I'm like, Brick Break has come in great handy so far. Like, I... It has been a really good choice, I've felt. Um, I won't mess around, actually. I was going to try to set up a Dragon Dance, but... Um, does this thing have... Oh, just double edge. That's fine. Um, I didn't know if it had, whatchamacallit, an ice move or not. I guess we'll just hit some aerial aces until this Murkrow goes down. Wow, that does a lot of damage. I wish Murkrow was stronger. I've lamented this earlier, because even here in Generation 3, it's still way too weak, I feel. Um, luckily, Aerial Ace cannot miss, so that double team means nothing to us. Because even, yeah, even in the generations where Murkrow does not have an evolution, it's still way too weak. Um, they just did not give it quite enough. I'm sure you could use one kind of competently in a playthrough. In, in Generation 2, you could. It's not, like, that bad. Um, um, 
here. I mean, Brick Break will still do some good damage. Should do half? Not quite, actually. Um, oh, boy, a one-shot. Was not expecting that. Um, I was expecting maybe a two-shot with Brick Break and then hold on, but dang. All right, good. Flygon here is great because that's an insta-kill with Ice Beam, but we got to start being careful, gang. I might be getting a little too cozy. Because we've got this fight. Okay, great. We have Thunderbolt for this. Um, we have this fight and then one more. And then we are on to our fifth time through, which we should hopefully see the Frontier Brain. Gyarados holds on. That is a quad effective Thunderbolt that it just held on from. Um, now let's swap. We'll get that paralysis off of Starmie, and we can lower its attack a little bit. That's good. All right, easy peasy. Dragon Tamer Graham, Rhydon, Flygon, Gyarados. That's a cool little squad. I like that. Ride on another spiritual dragon. I've talked about that before. I love the concept of the spiritual dragon. Um, because actual dragon types are just so rare, especially in these early gens. But even in the newer gens, they still haven't, like, overdone it, you know? All right, here we're going to go into Arrow. Arrow is a great counter for grass types. Um, and as we know, Sceptile is one of my all-time faves. And you can double-team all you want, my friend. I'm actually going to set up a Dragon Dance. So we can get you with Aerial Ace. There we go, baby. Love to see that. And again, another Grass Starter goes down. A Venusaur, perhaps? Ah, Breloom, even worse. Easy sweep. Easy sweep for our seventh victory. Lovely. That was a very satisfying battle because he could, I was not scared of those double teams whatsoever. Oh, that was great. All right. So that's going to be our fourth time through the tower. So I know I put uh, Battle Palace in our little description here on Twitch, but um, it might be the episode of the Battle Tower. All right. Okay. I am... Uh, yeah, they, you definitely save after you do one of these. Wow, 80 hours. That's crazy. But I'm going to save on my own because, once again, I have anxiety. All right, gang. This is going to be our fifth time through. We should see the Battle Tower Frontier Brain. And they are honestly one of my favorites. And yeah, Stevie's going to be our best lead. Um, I'm going to have to really monitor what we have. I don't... Oh, man. I'm really worried about what her move sets are going to be. Mostly, I'm really scared of potential ice moves um, on two of her Pokemon. It could get really could get really scary. We'll just we'll just say that. Um, but I can't be afraid. We got a charge head on. This is our fifth time through. Like I said, these matches are not going to be cake. We have some tough opponents here. Right, even that Lapras outspeeding us with Surf is not something we want to see. Luckily, we're doing a little bit more with Brick Break. All right, that works. That works. I'd love Metagross to be a little faster. He is the one kind of slow-mo on our team. Um, Both of these Pokemon perfectly resist Blaziken. Um, 
I'm gonna roll with Arrow, just because he's gonna be able to more easily tank um, a hit with his higher HP and his leftovers, and that we can cut that attack on Blaziken too, which is great. Oh, that, I was about to say, that had to be a critical hit. I hate to see that. All right. No burn, though. Um, let's just get Earthquake. Not mess around. There we go. And then Charizard. Starmie's going to be great for this. But we'll just do a little Aerial Ace trade-off. Oh, smokescreen. Love to see that. Didn't you see me use Aerial Ace, homie? Come on, now. Come on, now. You weren't paying attention. All right. One down. Uh, five more to go, and then the seventh battle should be the Frontier Brain. Um, I think I've talked about this before. Uh... Excuse me. I love Tim Hortons. Um, there's a lot of those here in Columbus. I know it's a big Canadian thing. If anyone in Canada has ever is ever been watching this, um, like one of the logos is literally the Canadian maple leaf. Um, <laughs> but uh, they have those things called ice caps that is just like the most delicious like coffee milkshake thingy. It's so wonderful. And sometimes my wife and I do this thing called fun breakfast where we go to the combination Wendy's Tim Hortons and we get some Wendy's uh, breakfast fries and some Tim Hortons ice caps and it's just completely delicious. There's no nutritional value whatsoever. Whatsoever. Um, you may be familiar, heck yeah, cry. Oh yeah, I forgot you're Canadian, oh yeah, sorry. I forgot you're Canadian, dude. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, no nutritional value in fun breakfast whatsoever. But uh, that's why they call it fun breakfast, you know? Because it's fun. So sometimes on Saturdays we do that. It's it's lovely. I love it a lot. Um, all right, we should be good here. Yeah, I was about to say, that first Shadow Ball was a critical hit. I'm able to take down that Kangaskhan without too much hassle. Kingdra we hate. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just hit a Shadow Ball. Um, Kingdra is one of the Pokemon that we don't have a super effective move for. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let Stevie go down, get a free switch. Um, yeah, we'll let Harry Jr. roll. Two Psychics should, uh, get us from here. I'd love a special drop in case it decides to get trolly like wands. There we go! A spoken into existence. Um, and it is going to get trolly like wands. Um, and there's that Chesto Berry. All right, so now two Psychics should do it from full health. Perfect. Um, love not seeing a Paralysis there. That Dragon Breath is why we didn't want to swap into Salamence. Um, and Vaporeon is just going to be some Thunderbolts, and we should be okay. Should be okay. The Eeveelutions do have access to Shadow Ball, so it might hit us with one of those. There it is. <laughs> um, okay, great. Love to hold on there, um, because Salamence probably couldn't KO from that range, and this Vaporeon could very well have Ice Beam. So, bringing it a little bit closer, I know our Salamence is going to be able to outspeed, especially with that Paralysis, that is clutch. Um, so now, with that, Salamence will have more than enough speed to outspeed this Vaporeon and finish it with Earthquake. I mean, there's always the chance of like a Quick Claw or something, but so you can never be too safe. But happy about that. Happy about that overall. Um, I should be more careful about, like, letting my Pokemon faint. In case, you know, I would have needed Metagross later. <sighs> I need my... I need my normal nervousness um, to, to pull me through. Okay. We have Lynn here. And her Crobat. Um, hopefully, this can go like I envision... 
Spencer's going, where we can wall it pretty well. Do, 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 do. Um, so yeah, I talked about going to an Italian place with my parents. Or, sorry, I talked about going to dinner with my parents. Didn't say where. Um, we have this Italian place that is between us that we all really like. Um, icy wind, great. So we definitely don't want, um, whatchamacallit, Salamence in on this melodic. It's looking like it has a very similar set to that other one that we encountered. Yeah, Hydro Pump. It probably had re uh, Recover as well, but luckily we can take this one down. Harry is not as speedy as usual. Here we have another Vaporeon. Hopefully we still outspeed here. We don't, but we should live a Surf. We don't, okay. All right, two things I thought would happen did not happen. All right, so I'll go ahead and get Arrow in here just in case we're screwed with an ice move. Um, okay, so it looks like we're gonna be all right. Um, if it had Ice Beam or Aurora Beam, I almost assuredly would have seen it there in the first turn. So we're chilling. We're chilling. That'll do it there. All right. Okay. Okie dokie. Stevie is just about a perfect foil to wheezing um, because it cannot poison us, and if it explodes, it's. Stevie's definitely going to be our best defense against that, um, even though it will be annoying if it explodes at, you know, like 10 HP. All right. We'd love to see that. Love to see that. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Um, shuckle. All right. Harry Jr. Because this Shuckle's just going to try to troll. Um, yeah. So we want to get Harry Jr. in as quick as possible. One or two Surfs will do the trick. But let's, yeah, I was about to say, let's just make sure we hit. All right. It's got that leftovers. All right, so it's working for now. Mmm. Going to keep those leftovers rolling. Definitely going to stay in here. The thing about Shuckle, as you can see, that dig did absolutely nothing. It basically has no attack. Its sole existence is to have really good uh, defenses in HP. Um, so it can, not even HP, just really good defenses. So that way it can just chill out, baby. All right, so this is their last Pokemon. Uh, Porygon 2 has really good defenses, I think specifically special defense. So yeah, it's gonna eat that pretty decently. Um, I'll just let Harry take the hit here. This is his last Pokemon, and we can get a clean switch. Oh, I love the Solar Beam animation in this game, even though it's gonna kill us, probably. Yep. <laughs> I still love the way it looks. I remember in Ruby version, you could really combo Groudon well with Solar Beam because it has the Drought ability that would call the Sun, so then you can use Solar Beam in one turn. It was great. Um, really, boom, that'll do it. School kid, Isaiah. Okay. All right, gang, things are getting real. We have two more battles, and then we should, knock on wood, get a crack at the Frontier Brain. Let's see what this fella's got. A battle is decided on spirit. You're not wrong, homie. You're not wrong. Okay. Cordell has a Blastoise. Um, 
Hmm, I'm curious here. Because Thunderbolt's going to be my best bet, but it could have Earthquake, which I would guess it would use against Stevie. Could also have Ice, so I don't want to swap into Arrow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to swap into Harry, because Harry should be able to get a hit on it. Okay, there's Hydro Pump. I'm okay with that. We resist it anyway. Um, good. We'll definitely be able to get a Thunderbolt in here. No matter what. Okay. Oh, bite. Wow. That's really annoying. That is really annoying to see a critical bite there. Very terrible. Okay. Um... Stevie it is, because I'm afraid of ice moves on this Blastoise. All right, Rain Dance. Don't mind that. If we can continue to outspeed, yes. All right, we'll take care of it. But that could pose a problem if we have any Swift Swimmers or anything. Um, Flareon, that works in our favor, actually, quite well. Um, we'll swap into Salamence here because we will super resist any fire moves that come out. Um, okay, I was about to say, the only thing that could happen is it could burn us. Um, which would be very bad. But let's... No! That was a terrible misclick, and it has flash fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I certainly did not mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was horrible. All right. Our accuracy is down a little bit, but we can just aerial ace. Oh, that was horrible. Gosh, dang it. And a terrible crit as well. All right, but I'll just, uh, I'll let, I'll let Arrow go down. Because our boy Stevie is going to wall this pretty well. One Psychic should do the trick, implying we can hit it. Great. All right. Made it through that one. And my just nightmarish uh, misclick. <laughs> Luckily, it was raining. Goodness gracious. All right. Whew. It's getting real. Opponent number six. Let's do it. They overdo that gourmet thing. Wow. This guy has some first world problems. Cool trainer, Caden. Needle Queen. Um, excuse me. I don't like this because it's probably going to have Earthquake. Yeah, we'll swap into Starmie. I'm hopeful that Starmie can live an Earthquake from full health if it gets one. Oh, Counter. That's great. Love to see that. Um, Psychic and Surf would be great. We'll go Surf. Surf should do slightly more damage. There we go. Beautiful one-shot. Um, Electabuzz. Not what we want to see. But we do have our Earthquaking Salamence here. And Electabuzz does have some pretty good attack power. Actually, I don't remember what its stat spread is. Perfect. All right, that worked out really nicely. Didn't get paralyzed, didn't do over half. All right, we're, we're, we're sitting pretty, we're sitting pretty so far. Um, okay, lovely. And then a Claydol. Um, Claydol has Levitate, I must remember. We're going to do a Dragon Dance. Okay. That's good to know that we live a Rock Slide like that, because there is a Pokemon the Frontier Brain has that might carry Rock Slide um, that I'm a little worried about. But we'll see. And that's, of course, no biggie. We can just bring in Harry Jr. to clean this up. And there's that surf. 
not too much trouble there. Alright, gang. If all goes according to plan. I'm sure there is somewhere I could have looked up the move sets of the Frontier Brains, but it's kind of nice that I didn't. Oh, here she comes. We will restore your Pokemon to full health, but the attendant just got an urgent message. Excuse me, but our leader, the Salon Maiden, is on her way here in hopes of battling you. She should be arriving very shortly. We are prepared. Let's see her come in. There she is, Annabelle. Annabelle is an awesome character. Shows up in a later Pokemon game in a very unexpected way. Really, really think that she is just awesome. Her team is crazy good. Um, and I am very nervous to fight her. Let's see how we do. Oh! Whew, okay. All right, let's lock in here. So she's gonna lead with Alakazam. Um, I thought about leading with um, Salamence, but I was petrified of it knowing Ice Punch. I don't know if it does. We'll see. Disable first turn, that's great. We can get a nice big Shadow Ball in here. This should do some big damage. Yes, okay. That's a great start, ladies and gentlemen. Great start. And yeah, Annabelle's got an Entei. That's uh, it's pretty uh, formidable. I am very nervous about it. And here I'm gonna swap into Arrow because we're probably going to see either a Fire Move or Earthquake. My hope is we see Earthquake. That would be great. Um, and we can lower that attack power because Entei has some high attack. Calm mind. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're scaring me now. Okay. Um, I'm thinking from here we can do a Dragon Dance because my hope is after one we should be able to knock out Entei and it'll carry us into the last Pokemon. That's my hope. It might have been foolish because I was faster already and could have just hit it with an earthquake, but that wouldn't have killed it. We'll see. All right, it's setting up. It's setting up. So we're both just trying to set up. I'm very nervous. We're going to try our earthquake now. Definitely get one powerful earthquake off. Yes. Yes, guys. We are sitting pretty, but her last Pokemon is very scary once again. She's got a Snorlax, and I'm really happy to be go be going into it with plus one on Salamence so we can get some good damage. I am afraid this knows Ice Beam as well. Belly Drum! Oh my gosh! So this Snorlax now has maximized attack. Um, hopefully this Earthquake kills. <laughs> Please? Yes! <laughs> no damage! <laughs> we took no damage against Annabelle. That is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we won! <laughs> that was awesome. Hello! How's it going, Lunaxis? Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here today. Oh my gosh. That was crazy, guys. I was so afraid of Annabelle. Annabelle is like one of the best ones in my brain, but we just caught her on a good day. She, <laughs> she literally didn't attack us. <laughs> uh, foo foo foo. Nicely done. Your frontier pass, please. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great right now. Oh, that is so awesome. All right. Okay, I want to put that on my Frontier Pass because <laughs> that is so funny. I was 15 battle points, heck yeah. I was petrified. <laughs> petrified that entire time. 
Um, yes, I love that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Um, man. That is so lovely that we were able to do that. I'm going to go ahead and save because I have anxiety. Um, and uh, just spiritually, I'm going to reorder my team. Because um, we're going to make our way down to the old battle palace. Um, this one, yeah, I'll let this episode run a little bit longer than usual. Um, we got some time. We can do one more run through the palace. Um, but first, let's look at our Battle Frontier Pass. There it is, baby! There is our new ability symbol from the Battle Tower. We have five of seven. And hopefully next episode we can get our redemption against Spencer. Um, but this time we'll just uh, go through this one real quick again. Um, and I mean, I say that. Hopefully we don't run into some terrible luck. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Um thank you so much. Yeah, I I yeah, I absolutely recognize your name. Um I appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, we just finished the battle tower. Um the battle tower is just you do a battle, you do seven battles. Um and that's that's what it is. It's a pretty like straightforward uh playthrough. Um the tournament is the battle dome. Um, which we were able to win. Oh boy. I forgot. I already forgot where I am. I already forgot that I can't choose my move. <laughs> oh, swine up's fine. Oh boy. That's okay. All right. Endure. I can live with that. Um, but yeah. The battle tower is not the tournament. The battle dome is the tournament. Um, all right, there we go. So not a very formidable opponent to begin with. So I can erase Battle Tower from our to-do list. So now the only things that we have left are the Battle Palace and the Battle Pyramid. And the Battle Pyramid is the only thing we have not done any of yet. Um... I'll definitely do some of that next episode. Oh, yes. Meteor Mash is not what we wanted. Ooh, we want Brick Break. Dang it. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Uh, but how are you doing? Thank you for being in here. I really appreciate it. We got that nice wall shattering reflect. Um, wall shattering uh, Brick Break, rather. All right. We'll stay in with Stevie, that is fine. Can eat that outrage really well. Perfect. And then Snubble. Wow, so we're still, uh, this is our second time through the old palace and we're still not seeing particularly powerful Pokemon yet. We are plus four on attack. There we go, that will destroy a Snubble. So we rip through Jill there. All right, third fight. Um, slack off is fine, because slack off is like slack king, um, where it has that truant ability, but it doesn't have the benefit of having the stats of a legendary. So it's not too terribly, um, not too terribly menacing. Uh, let's see. Oh, sure, ho-hum in a good way. Oh, I understand. Um, oh, yes, you had yes you had found Dusk. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I, ha I have my Silver Cave project, which I still, which I still work on, um, on my own here. But when I lived in California, I had another project called Dusk that I worked on with some other guys. Um, and we actually had a semi-big cover online of um, Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts 2. 
Um, so I highly encourage you to listen to that. It's it's one of the things I'm most proud of as an artist, honestly. I think the recording is great. I think the song is is beautiful. It's a really good rendition, I think. And I love doing a good cover. I've done several with Silver Cave, and uh, it was great to do that one with Dusk. So um, highly recommend you listen to Dusk as well. Um, and I think I think uh, those guys are still like slowly but surely trying to do a little bit more. So we'll see. It was a masterpiece. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. I really, really do. Um, because I love that song, Sanctuary, so much. And I was just so proud that we were able to do it um, and do it. I thought pretty well, you know? Let's see here. Ah, uh, yes, Stantler's Intimidate won't work. Hate to see that. Love to see that. Perfecto. And yeah, so far, the big, probably the biggest covers that I have done are, you know, we did the, we did Sanctuary. Ooh, this Charmeleon's plus four attack. Oh, and we're using Ice Beam like geniuses. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, obviously did Sanctuary with Dusk. Um, and then I did Red, which was a Pokemon-centric cover with Silver Cave. Um, and those are my two video game related covers. That's why I was happy to embark on this endeavor was because I, that, that's always been kind of ingrained in my musical projects and, you know, my personality in general. So I thought it would be a cool idea to have like a gaming side of what I do with Silver Cave. Um, so here we would love to see Brick Brick. That would destroy a Laron. Perfecto. Lovely. That's going to be quad super effective. Um, we have Psychic here for Primate. But I might swap out after a Swagger. Uh, hate that. Hate that! Lovely. Ooh. Aerial Ace. Okay, good. <laughs> I was hoping it would kill because if it has counter... That was gonna not be good at all. All right, and now that he is the flying type, I really don't wanna see Earthquake. Great. Um, ah, yes, thank you. Thank you, uh, Lunaxis. Yeah, I I appreciate that a lot. Um, I Stuff with Silver Cave is always kind of like, it's very slow and steady. Cause I have, I have some stuff cooking, but I haven't really been able to work on it much lately. I've been, you know, devoting a lot of time to this. I've really enjoyed uh, uh, building this up and have really been able to very slowly grow my Twitch and YouTube presence in a way that I think is pretty good. Um, and hopefully I can just continue being um, consistent with it. But uh, I will get back on my Silver Cave band grind before too long, that's for sure. Um, there we go. Wanted to see that Thunderbolt. Luckily, Azumarill is not very strong here. Ooh, holds on. There we go. <laughs> Ice Beam, we'll do it. Um, but yeah, Lunaxis, I really appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Yeah, I was hoping we'd use Psychic, because Ivysaur could probably mess us up. Oh, and then Bayleaf. We'll stay in. It's the last Pokemon. Perfect. One shot. Not quite. Freeze? Hey! I called it! I called it, baby! Lovely. It's eager for more, but it is frozen solid. All right, Expert Evan. All right, this, yes, this is our last battle of our second time through the palace here. Um, 
So, knock on wood, should we be able to complete this round, there will only be one more left before we can, um, you know, just uh, taste the blood of Spencer. Oh, I feel like that is the third straight Meteor Mash to miss. Um, luckily, yes, yeah, Swellow can't really hurt Metagross at all. Again, just a genius move to use Shadow Ball. There we go. All right. Seviper. It cannot poison us, so we'll stay in. Got that good Psychic. Lovely. Perfect. That'll do it. All right, we got one more. We got one more. Zangoose. Uh, let's see that Brick Break, because it's probably going to try to use some Sword Dance. Swords Dances. Perfect. Lovely. There's that one shot. Beauty Jordan was defeated. All right. So, now we have gone twice through the Battle Palace once again. Um, on this third time through, we will be able to fight the... Uh, the Palace Maven Spencer, that uh, terrible, terrible old coot. Um, um, Alright. Well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and save because you know why. Alright. So, folks, this has been a great episode. Uh, really able to claw our way back into the Battle Palace. We were able to win our um, <laughs> battle tower symbol with a miracle run featuring not getting hit one time completely amazing um so i really look forward to destroying spencer next episode i really look forward to doing our first run through of the battle pyramid um next episode beautiful stuff that's right cry appreciate you um but until then folks um, that'll happen next week, and you all have a lovely, lovely weekend. It's been an honor. I will try my best to do the same. I will... <laughs> the man's head will be piked. You are so right. That's right. <laughs> peace out, Cry. And peace out, all of you. Have a good weekend. Thank you.